hi um, this in this video tutorial I'm going to teach you the basics of unity I have divided this tutorial into three parts so that I can cover major functionality of unity 3d okay uh, let us start the basics okay this is the unity and you open a project so I'll open it for you again okay don't want it okay now it's closed let us open a new unity project okay I'll get a more I'm sorry okay I'll open the monster truck here project takes a while to open because it's a huge file because the entire game is opening right now okay yeah it's getting in yeah okay to first I'm going to teach you how to move your camera in unity world okay first you have to hold the alt key and you have to press the left mouse button and move the mouse you can see the window the camera will rotate according to your mouse movement and if you want to pan the mouse hold the alt key and uh, press the middle mouse button and you can move the mouse it gets updated again if you want to zoom zoom the camera in unity world just hold the alt key and right click the press the right mouse button and move the mouse you can see the camera gets updated based on your mouse movement and also if you want to focus an object in unity just select the object and press F so that the camera get focused to that object you want to select any other object like this missing I'll get F is get focused by the camera and after focusing an object the camera moves along along with the object based on the object as a center point of the camera okay I will teach you how to duplicate an object okay I will select uh, uh, this object in this window in this scene I will select it I will focus the object so I want to duplicate the object so I will go to edit and select duplicate or you can use ctrl D to duplicate the object okay the object get duplicated again okay you can I don't want this object to be here okay next if you want to move an object in unity they have some basics which we follow in Maya 3ds Max and Blender okay the same type of method you can move the object in unity world so select the object which you want to move the move in unity world and select the move button in the toolbar then you will get three arrow over the object okay the red arrow indicates the movement of the object in x-axis the blue arrows okay I'll select this blue arrow indicates the movement of the uh, object in z, z axis the green arrow is indicates the movement of object in y axis okay if you select the arrow the arrow gets updated into white yellow color it indicates that the arrow mark is selected if you constrain the movement based by clicking the arrow and move the button so i move the mouse the object will move along the respective axis okay if you want to scale the object just select the scale tool in this tool box and you'll get the three boxes that is namely four boxes the blue box indicates the scaling of object in z axis green used for y axis and red color box indicates the scaling of o in x axis okay the center box indicates indicating the scaling of the entire 
uh, axis that is um, uh, scaling of the object in all three axes okay if we see the three axes get updated in the yeah, inspector window okay uh, next before that I will go to you okay I'll teach you how to rotate an object okay uh, how to you have to set to rotate an object you have to select the rotation tool in the toolbar and you'll get uh, the circles around your object okay the red circle indicates the rotation of the object in the x axis blue indicates in y axis and green indicates rotation of object in y axis okay and uh, you have some global local and global pivot point of uh, local and global normals for the object okay if you want to change the uh, object global or local position you can just toggle this this button it shows you the local and the global position of the object and if you want to see the pivot and the center point of that object it's get uh, updated by pressing this button and also this this three button in unity is used for testing the game in in game engine okay if you press the play button the games plays automatically the game you okay okay and pause is used for pausing the game okay if you can see that now and okay next i'll teach you the windows the scene windows will show you the entire unity window entire unity world in the scene window you can move the object and place the object anywhere in the unity world it is used for moving and placing the object and parenting the object okay and the game window is used for uh, seeing the output of your game or your current scene okay and the hierarchy windows display you the object of the scene window in hierarchy manner and the project windows will display you the project folder which you have used for your projects in a unity project in a hierarchy manner the inspector window will show you the properties of the object which you select in the scene window okay you can see the inspector window will get automatically updated when you select an object in the scene window you can see that yeah also you can move this window uh, based on your commands and I have going to wait I'll show you many more things okay I have made this if you want to be uh, save this layout you can go to windows layout and save layout I'll save it as uh, test 2 okay and then save it as and if you have changed the layout options if you have changed the layout of that uh, of the unity you can go back to a layout by selecting windows layout and you can find test 2 okay you can see that you can get the layout back you got the layout back and that's it i think so for the part one i will see you in the next part i will go for somewhat uh, some advanced level of the unity I'll teach you something more in Unity. Okay, see you guys. Bye.